Hey guys, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to check if your iPhone has been backed up and when it was last backed up. This is really important because if you lose your device or if something happens or if the phone gets damaged, you want to make sure you have a backup of your device so all of your information, your photos, videos, media does not get erased or you cannot recover it because backing up any device is really important and we're going to show you guys how to do that. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of these phenomenal devices at a discounted price make sure you guys check out the link in the description section so let's talk about a backup so there's two main ways to back up your iPhone the first one pretty popular one is backing up through your iCloud account and that way you do that it's pretty straightforward and simple is that you know, go into your settings once you're in setting, you're going to click on your name with your Apple ID on it. And then once you have done that, you're going to want to click on iCloud here. And once you click on iCloud, you'll notice the amount of iCloud storage you can have. As you can see here, we're allowed to have 5 gigs, which comes with pretty much any account that you create for free. It will give you 5 gigs of storage. Of course, you can get more storage by paying additional uh, monthly so to get more of it. And once you see that, you'll notice all these things that are being added. Uh, being backed up to the iCloud as you can see here right now our photos are being backed up things like uh, you know contacts calendar reminder messages aren't backed up here as you can see Safari stuff and all of this other stuff here is being backed up and we'll notice down here where it says iCloud backup you see that right here you want to click on that and right now as you can see the iCloud backup is on and what happens is iCloud backup will automatically take a backup of your data, your photo, your accounts, and your configuration and setting when it's connected to power and locked or on Wi-Fi. It depends on that. So it has to be connected to power on most of the time when it's on Wi-Fi. It will automatically do the backup and you don't have to worry about it. But if you're worried to kind of figure out, all right, when the last time backup has, and you can see that right here, it says last successful backup, as you can see here, it says 5.26.21 at the time of backup. And let's say you want to backup right now, you can simply click on backup now and it will do a backup right away at that time but you'll have to be connected to a good strong wi-fi and also make sure your phone is charged or plugged into power as we'll need power to do that backup so that's how icloud backup works so you're going to want to make sure if you're using icloud backup is that you have enough storage as you can see five gig might not be enough considering how much data you probably have or information you have saved on your phone. So you're probably going to have to get more storage. So that's how iCloud backup works. And if you're not looking to pay that extra cost, there's another second second method of backup, which is a little bit more work that it takes. It's through iTunes account. So if you plug in your phone, as you can see, to your computer, your MacBook, or your PC, you have to download this uh, app called iTunes, which is free to download. Once you have downloaded that, you're going to go ahead and connect it. And once you've connected, you can do a, a backup there or restore from if you have previous backup. So here it will walk you through the backup process. As you can see here, we have backed up this phone uh, on this computer on 7 14 20. So as you can see, this backup is actually almost a year back so you have to manually do that backup each time you want to back up your phone so the thing about the iCloud versus the iTunes backup is that the, I, the iTunes one is very manual so every couple months maybe or every month depending on how much you want to be safe you want to come in plug your phone into iTunes and it will do a backup of you and it'll keep that backup onto this hard drive of this computer it won't unlike I iCloud, it won't be able to be accessible until you connect it to the same computer that you have. That's the one caveat of using iCloud backup versus uh, iTunes on a computer. You'll need to have that computer accessible if you need to back up from that backup that you made to recover your device. So those are the two methods of recovery and the way to check when your phone was backed up and if it was successfully backed up. Hopefully this method were helpful for you guys. If these methods were helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.